Hey class, Mr. Long here. Um, so today we are going to get into our first document in our first DBQ, which is on um, the Enlightenment. Um, and we've been on the topic of Enlightenment for the last week and a half, two weeks, so we know a lot of background information about it. Um, but first things first, we have never looked at a document. We have never analyzed a document in this class yet. And I will tell you, it is very difficult. Um, there are some things that you are not going to understand. There are words that you're not going to understand. So hopefully by doing this video lecture, it will make things a lot easier for you. Um, and especially when you get to the point of actually writing your five paragraph essay. Um, so that is the whole point of doing this. Um, so what I want you guys to do right now is I need you to focus on your document A vocab. Um, so on the screen, you will see vocab words that are in the color blue. So what I want you guys to do on your document A, I want you to circle those words, dispose, bounds, evident, subordination, subjection, dissolution, erecting, impartial, and remedy. And I'm going to give you guys the definitions for each one of these words. So I need you guys to please be writing down these definitions on your vocab sheet for document A. Having these vocabulary words and these definitions gives us a better understanding of what is being said in each one of these documents. So to dispose something means to arrange it. So once again, to dispose of something means to arrange that. Bounds. Bounds means something within legal limits. Once again, something within legal limits. Evident means clear. Evident means clear. Subordination means to place in a lower rank or inferior or less than. Placing in lower rank or inferior, less than. Subjection is cause or motive. Cause or motive. Dissolution, breaking up or coming to an end. Breaking up or coming to an end. Erecting, create or establish. Create or establish. Impartial means unfair, unfair. And finally, remedy is a solution or a correction to something. A solution or a correction to something. Okay, so vocab words and definitions are out of the way. We need to move back to the top of our document. Now what I need you guys to do is right above document A, I want you to write down John Locke because document A is all about John Locke. Now whenever you guys get a document, I need you guys to always, always look at the source and look at the note of the document. That is very important that you guys do not skip those two because it gives us an idea of what the document is all about. So our source, of course, is coming from John Locke in his book titled Second Treaties on Civil Government, which was written in 1690. So go ahead and circle the name John Locke and then please highlight the title of the book, which is Second Treaties on Civil Government. Now here's our note. A little bit of information about John Locke. John Locke, who was born in 1632 and died in 1704, lived in England during both the English Civil War and the Glorious Revolution. Please highlight England, English Civil War, Glorious Revolution. And we've talked about those two events already in this class, English Civil War and Glorious Revolution. When Locke was born, England's form of government was an absolute monarchy. 
Now, guys, hopefully we remember what an absolute monarchy is. Please highlight absolute monarchy. Now, what I want you to do is draw an arrow up to the right from absolute monarchy and write this down in the margin. Absolute monarchy means the king or queen has total power over people. No rights. Once again, king or queen has total power over people. No rights. Moving on with the reading. In which the king or queen had power to rule and sometimes ask for advice and assistance from parliament. Now hopefully guys we all remember what parliament is. Parliament is the group of people that advise the king or queen and they work with the king or queen to govern the country. In 1689, the English Parliament passed the Bill of Rights. Now remember guys, with the Glorious Revolution, when William and Mary come in and they overthrow her father, James II, they are forced to sign the English Bill of Rights. This law reversed the role of the king and parliament, making parliament more powerful than the king. So going back up, please highlight 1689, the English Parliament passed the Bill of Rights, and also highlight making Parliament more powerful than the king. Okay, so now we're going to write some stuff in the margins. I need you to please draw an arrow from English Civil War, another arrow from Glorious Revolution, and another arrow from Bill of Rights and draw those arrows up to the top left-hand corner. And I want you to please write this down. Three events that will eventually change the type of government in England. Once again, three events that will eventually change the type of government in England. Please add this. Power taken from king and rights given to people. Power taken from the king and rights given to the people. Now we need to move on to the actual reading. Now what you are going to see in the document A is two excerpts or two pieces of writing from the book written by John Locke. So the first piece is going to be taken from Of the State of Nature. We must or we most consider what state all men are naturally in, and that is a state of perfect freedom to order their actions and dispose of their possessions and persons as they think fit within the bounds of the law of nature. Okay, guys, please highlight all men are naturally in. Please highlight state of perfect freedom to order their actions and dispose of their possessions and persons. And finally highlight think fit within the bounds of the law of nature. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is please draw a little arrow from naturally where you guys highlighted all men are naturally in. So from an arrow from naturally, draw a little arrow up to the right and write this down. All men born with natural rights. Life, liberty, and property. Once again, all men born with natural rights. Life, liberty, and property. Then what I want you guys to do is I want you to take that last part of the sentence and draw an arrow. So I want you to draw an arrow where it says, and dispose of their possessions and persons, and draw an arrow out to the left. And we're going to write quite a bit in this margin, so please make sure you're writing small, and I will repeat this. People are free to live their lives. People are free to live their lives. Buy and sell their goods. Buy and sell their goods. And work where they want within reasonable natural limits. 
and work where they want within reasonable, natural limits. People are free to take care of themselves. People are free to take care of themselves. People are equal in a state of nature. People are equal in a state of nature, which means they all have equal rights. Which means they all have equal rights. So once again, I'm going to read through this all together at once. And this is what needs to be written in the margin on the left-hand side. People are free to live their lives, buy and sell their goods, and work where they want within reasonable, natural limits. People are free to take care of themselves. People are equal in a state of nature, which means they all have natural rights. Okay, moving on to the next short paragraph. Please follow along in the reading. There is nothing more evident that all creatures of the same species and rank should also be equal on amongst another without subordination or subjection. Please highlight creatures of the same species and rank should also be equal on amongst one another subordination or excuse me on one another without subordination or subjection. Okay, so please draw an arrow from subjection out to the right. And this is what you need to write in the margin. Everyone is considered equal to each other. Everyone is considered equal to each other. And no one is considered below another person. And no one is considered to be below another person. So moving away from the first piece from John Locke and moving on to the second and final piece of the dissolution of government. When the government is dissolved, the people are at liberty to provide for themselves by erecting a new legislative. For the society can never lose the native and original right it has to preserve itself, which can only be done by a settled legislative and a fair and impartial execution of the laws made by it. Please highlight what you see on the screen. And in that highlight, or from that highlight, draw an arrow out to the left. And this is what we are going to write in the margin. People have the power to dissolve. People have the power to dissolve or get rid of a government that doesn't protect our natural rights. Or get rid of a government that doesn't protect our natural rights. And create a new government that creates fair laws and does its jobs and create a new government that creates fair laws and does its job. Finishing up with this, follow along please. But the state of mankind is not so miserable that they are not capable of using this remedy. They have not only a right to get out of a failed government, but to prevent it. Please make your highlights on that last part of this document. And draw an arrow to that last highlight to the right. And please write this down in the margin. People have a right to get out of a government that doesn't work and also prevent it. People have a right to get out of a government that doesn't work and also prevent it. Okay guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to our next screen and if you did not get any of those or some of those margins, some of those annotations in the margins, this should 
help you guys out. So what you are going to be required to do is you are going to have to stop, pause it, and you're going to have to make sure that you got all of the correct annotations in the margins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down so you can get all of the annotations, the complete annotations. And finally, so what you need to do is you need to stop it, pause it, rewind, whatever you need to do for this video lecture to make sure that you have all the correct highlights, to make sure that you have all the correct annotations, and to make sure that you have written down the definitions, uh, the vocab words that are highlighted in blue. Remember guys, you are getting points for highlighting annotating and filling out the vocab so make sure it is done correctly that concludes document a please go back and review this if you need to